guys, welcome back to a brand new video. It's update day and instead of making one big compilation of everything that's new, I thought why not just, you know, analyze it and make a couple of little videos on some really cool new functionality. First up, custom endgame screens. So let's just jump straight into it. I've got three blocks here, a blue one, a red one, and a green one. Now just imagine that these represent alternative endings for your adventure maps, and later I'll even give you a couple of extra options, for example, conditional ending and all of that. So what do we need? The brand new endgame device. Now we can change, for example, if you only want to end the game or the round, but I'll get to that in a bit. And let's start with the blue ending. So I'm just gonna say, you got the blue ending. And then in the channels, I'm going to say, well, activate when receiving from channel one or whatever free first channel that you have. Okay, and now obviously we need something to transmit on this channel. So for this example, I'm just going to take a button, place the button right at your block. And the only thing I'm really going to change is first of all, the channel, and then just write end the game. Okay. Perfect, time to start and see how exactly this works already. So what exactly is an end screen? Well, very easy, when you end the game, whether it's through actually winning the game or round device or anything like that, you always get this message saying, you win or a custom one. Now the cool thing is that before, we were bound to one message per map, so we always had the same message. But now we can actually display different messages. For example, you managed to destroy all devices, or you captured the flag, or you captured the green flag, or you destroyed the base. So we can make some really complex systems with this to create a custom message. Let me show you guys a little example of this by creating a conditional endgame. So what do we do? All we did is change the unable that game start to disabled. So that means even if we call on this channel, it will not end the game yet. So let me copy over this button as well and change it to the same channel that I put this new endgame device to. So just channel two. Now what will happen if I press the button? Well, the signal will get sent, but it just won't receive on this device because it's disabled, allowing us to very easily add some conditions to it. For example, we could say, well, you have to destroy all objectives first. So let me just grab an objective device, place it down really quickly, and the only option that I'm going to change is the when destroyed transmit on to a new channel. So let's say channel three in my case. And now what we will do finally is, well, first of all, we're going to enable our end game device on channel three. So when we press the button, it will not end the game yet unless we destroy the objective. And now I'm also going to add a hot message device to say that, well, you need to destroy all objective devices which I'm going to bind to the same channel too. So what does that mean? Well, if we press the button, it will send a signal on channel two. The end game device will not receive it yet because it's still disabled, but the HUD message will. So we press it and it shows you have to destroy all objectives. Once you destroy it and you press it again, the end game device will receive the channel and custom victory screen. And now finally, we can also bind either team or class specific options to this, meaning that only players of that team will be able to end the game. Let me quickly show what I mean. Let's say that now we have the green ending, which represents, for example, a base that you have to overtake. So there's a defending team and an attacking team, and only the attacking team can end the game. So what are we going to do? I'm going to bind it to a brand new channel, and I'm going to say the activating team is two. So any other team sending a signal on that channel will not be able to end the game. Now I just add my button again, and by default, I'm team one. So let's start the game and see what happens if I press it. Absolutely nothing. Now let me end the game and change to team two. Team two going to the button, and as soon as I press it, we actually end the game. And that's it guys for this brand new device, open some very cool new possibilities, some new functionality that will come really in hand for a lot of people, and I'll see you guys very soon with a couple of other really cool new mechanics. Peace!